Hello there, my name is Aoife and I am 1500 years old and don't I look amazing? This is my friend St Columba, he's 1500 years old too and boy does he look it. But that's because he's lived a life full of many adventures and you're all very welcome to this little story about St Columba. There are some times when we are good. Ah, good day to you madam. And sometimes when we are bad. Get stuffed, you cabbage. <laughs> this is the story of my friend's journey from bad to good. Can I, can I start now? You may. Magic, cute titles. This is my book, my treasured possession. What power and magic there is in a book. The thoughts of the head that come from a place we don't know, scattered through the air on wings of sound and trapped like flying insects on the pages of white calfskin. My book is a miracle. A magic thing. Ooh, has it got pictures? My old teacher Finian came back from Rome with the very latest in sacred manuscripts in the new up-to-date Latin. I respect the old man, but he is merely a scholar and a teacher. I, on the other hand, am a prince of the ruling family, the Unel, and I feel entitled to have this treasure. I bet you. Of course, I could not just steal it from him. I am a good Christian after all. <laughs> Instead, I borrowed it from him and made a copy for myself without him knowing about it. There was an old man named Abbot Finney and he had a book we had to steal from him. We tapped him on the shoulder which then distracted him. Poor old Abbot Finney. There was an old man named Abbot Finney and he had a book we had to skip from him. We tapped him on the shoulder which then distracted him. Poor old Abbot Finney and Foster. There was an old man named Abbot Finney and he had a book we had to skip from him. We tapped him on the shoulder which then distracted him. Poor old Abbot Finney and Foster. Ah! Ah! I must say, that's a wild, catchy song. This book unfortunately led to great conflict and slaughter. You see, Finian, when he found out about the unauthorised copying of the book, appealed to the High King Dermot of Ireland. The case was heard at a place called Tara before the King. Please rise, court is now in session. Uh, ah, Dermot McCorvo of the southern branch of O'Neill, High King of this land, do hereby give this judgment. The monk, Columba, also known as Columb Kill, I thank you, I thank you very much, must return the copy of his book to the Abbot Finian. For to every cow, it's a calf, and to every book, it's a copy. I thank you, I thank you very much. I cannot, I shall not, I will not give up that manuscript, it is mine. Besides, my people see it as a thing of power and magical force. I'll take it back to Derry, Londonderry, to my own people, the Northern Unel. King Dermot and his pagan druids are rivals and sworn enemies of my people. <sighs> mm. A day. And so, a major diplomatic incident occurred. Ooh. It involved the killing of a hostage. Ah. The son of the King of Connacht. The High King Dermot. <laughs> and so it came to war. And war. And, and war. Ah. Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Singing. Yeah. Columba led his people into the fight. 
He held the book in the air, which they now called the Catholic or the Battle Book. He held it aloft as a banner and a sign of victory. What do we call this book? The, the Battle, Battle book. book. Harry Potter. The army of King Dermot and the army of the Unel clashed on the flat plain between Benbulban and County Sligo. Dermot's army advanced from the sea coast, led by the Druids who lay a magic line on the ground so that any of Columba's men who crossed it would die. And so Columba raised his battle book and a thick fog descended upon Dermot's army. They stumbled about in the dark and were cut down by the army of Columba. 3,000 lay dead and the battle was over. And it looked really impressive and expensive. The pride of my people. Their bravery in battle gives joy to my heart. It was a glorious triumph. When the battle cooled and Columba saw the slaughter around him, suddenly he knew this was no triumph. Suddenly I knew this was no triumph. This deadly violence was a sign this of failure. This deadly violence is a sign of this failure. This is not the way this to settle This is not the way to settle a fair. Stop it! Sorry. In deep sadness he came back here, to the city of Oak, and resolved become a hermit. Far away from the conflicts and obsessions of his fellow humans. I must search my sacred book. Find our Lord's will. To find the real person I'm supposed to be. And so we lost our warrior monk, the proud bearer of the battle book. From here he set out in a small boat with twelve followers to seek a quiet place to begin his spiritual search. Out through Loch Foyle they went, by Rathlin Island and made sure at Kintyre where they settled on a small island called Iona. Unknown then, but now known as... Columbus Island! Columbus Island! We always knew we hadn't seen the last of Columba. He re-emerged in public affairs, this time without sword, but as a peacemaker, <laughs> forging peace between the <laughs> Irish and the Picts in Scotland, <laughs> and between his own Unel <laughs> and the Kingdom of Dalriada. They say that I once wrote in a poem, because I was a poet, that my body was in Iona, but my heart was here in Derry, Londonderry. Now, I don't remember writing that, but if I didn't, I should have. Correct <laughs> <coughs> for you. Today in this city, the deep feelings of the heart are the same as the feelings and ideals that my companions and I had. We brought the spirit of this city to other places, to Scotland. Oh, hi. To Britain. Hello. And eventually to mainland Europe. Bonjour. <laughs> Give me the oaks with angels' wings, the tide that fills the river foil and brings, the curragh, the sail, the warship tall, the monk, the trader. A soldier and all. Give me the people who live in this place, their ways and their history, and they let us embrace. The old walls and new bridges, the music and the dance, the church and the chapel, the hall and the manse. And the stones that speak at the bishop's gate, and the stones that fly, and the stones that wait. See the wee church on the city walls, the foundation site, Columbus' heart saw. The jigs and the reels and the flutes that hum, the big parade and the lambeck drum, the musicianship and the passion to play, talking points of a July summer's day. Sing me, Danny boy, in the town I love. Hear the songs they sing neath the flying white dove. The jazz and the trad, the 
swing in the blues, the voice of the city in every mood. The long and short and the up and down of it is this is my city and I'm proud of it. He stole a book and started a fight, went to an island to set things right. He fought for peace and his heart was good. He did God's will like we all should. Not bad for a 1500 year old, eh?